This here is a forceps centipede. You can see why they're named forceps centipedes. That pair of terminal legs there in the back. Very forceps-like, I suppose. And they will use those in defending themselves. Um, they're often a longer pair of legs and centipedes, that back pair of legs, um, interestingly. Oh, the genus for this, by the way, is Theotops. And uh, the front pair of legs as well is modified into a pair of what are called forcipules. People often call them fangs, and that's just fine. They use their venom to subdue their prey. Let's see if I can get this one into my hand. There we go. They use their venom to subdue their prey. And of course, uh, there are enzymes in there that help to break the tissues down so that they can digest them. I'm never afraid of little centipedes like this. Um, it would be quite capable of biting me if it wanted to, but I'm no threat to it. I think these are really beautiful centipedes. I love how glossy they are. Um, you can see that it is cleaning its antenna there. What a little cutie, and you got a good look there of the forcipule, that modified front leg. Um, I can actually zoom in a little bit more than this. It's a little tricky sometimes to do with one hand, but... While the animal is grooming itself, it gives us an opportunity here to make some observations about how they move and what did they do. Um, sightless, I mean, at most this specimen here could detect the difference between light and dark. And it's going to be on the move here now. It was hard to get one back up on your hand, which is why I have the spoon here. A little bit of a trick to uh, keep them controlled while we make the video. Glossy. oranges and reds, very beautiful animals. Much different, of course, than millipedes, which people often confuse them with. Centipedes have one pair of legs per segment, whereas millipedes have two. In that shot there, you can begin to see that there is just one pair of legs, one leg on each side for each segment of the body. And centipedes appear to move kind of erratically, and the reason for that is because they don't see well, and so they just sort of feel their way through life. Got lucky there in picking it up. Nope. Um, they just sort of move around in their antennae up front there, give them information about what's going on around them. And uh, it's possible that, you know, they can even hear, um, they sense vibrations. They're very um, responsive to vibrations and such around them. But I think we're going to call it an end to this video here and get this animal back in its moist substrate. Um, they do get larger than this, up to about three inches. This is a smaller one from the eastern part of the country. There we go, a nice close-up shot of it grooming its antenna. So many bugs keep themselves clean. They're constantly cleaning themselves. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.